So what is adaptive thresholding? So adaptive thresholding is the method where the threshold value is calculated for the small region. However, in basic thresholding, we are calculating the threshold value globally. That's been same all the region. There will be the difference threshold value for different region in adaptive thresholding, but it's not on basic thresholding. So those are the major difference between adaptive thresholding and the basic thresholding. So now the question is, why should we need to use the adaptive thresholding and why we need not to use the basic thresholding on ms c If I go on my day number eight, you can see here, we are actually getting the value using trackback and this is nothing but the globally. We cannot change the value. That's when this value is actually changed on the whole images. Okay, if I try to use this codu.jpg file, then you can understand what actually happening on this basic thresholding. So let's here go do sudoku sorry sudoku save the file and run the code here, and you can see the output. So this is a track work, and let's see here threshold binary. So when I actually increase the uh, thresholding value, you can see here one black line is created. Why? because this value is affected on the whole images whole images that's why it's called the global thresholding it's actually cause of your lighting that's been uh, your basic thresholding is not affected on the coloring that's coloring not coloring it's called the lighting so that's why you do need to actually use this basic thresholding if you have any lighting problem okay so we can use the adapted thresholding for that if I see the difference between the basic thresholding and the adaptive thresholding as a picture and you can see here threshold binary this is basic and you can see black line is actually created okay and you can see here this not so visible clearly but in the adaptive threshold you can see here this value is so cool and the image quality is also be gold and thresholding value is also be gold so that's are the basic difference between the basic thresholding and the adaptive thresholding. So now your choice is the who, uh, which type of thresholding that you are actually using this is adapting or the basic one. So now we start to actually do the coding bird. So I'm going to click and to close that and I'm going to create new Python file here. So let's create new Python file here. So day number nine dot py. Okay. So our file is created. So for the testing purpose, we are going to use this image sudoku.jpg so I'm going to import cb2 right now and also I'm going to load the image from our directory so cb 2imbrate okay and you need to put here the path that's in your file name so this is nothing but the sudoku.jpg and you're going to read the image into grayscale mode so that's why flag should be zero okay and I'm going to show the images so let's say cb 2im show and inside that I'm going to put here the one frame name so let's say uh, adaptive threshold, okay, image, and this one the image, okay, and let's say cb2 dot key, and I'm going to put here the zero as a delay, and cb2 dot destroy all the windows. Let's save it and run the code. That's our code is working fine and not. Yes, our image is loaded correctly. So now the question is how can we use the adaptive thresholding? So in CB2, there is a function that's called the CB2.adaptive thresholding. So let's use that CB2.adaptive adaptive threshold. You can see the threshold. Okay. So it will take first one the source. So source is nothing but our image itself. And the maximum value. So max value is basically 0 to 255. So that's the max value should be 255. And now this is the important questions. This is called adaptive method. We know the threshold type. We have so many threshold type. We discuss about all the things in details in day number eight. What is the threshold type and how many types of threshold value here? There's many types of thresholding. You can watch the uh, day number eight video. So our threshold is let's say trash binary. Okay. And binary inverse, you can use that. And block size and the C we are discussing about on our, on our flight. So there are two types of adapting method here. So first one is a CB2.adaptive trash mean C. It also calculates the mean. 
and CB2 dot adaptive trash Gaussian C. It actually calculates the Gaussian white sum of the block. And you can see the T x comma y this is a function threshold value is calculated as the mean block size neighborhood of x comma y and the minus the c parameter this is nothing but the c parameter is, like, is nothing but the corner structure that's what, not corner structure sorry it's called the constant value and this is actually calculating the mean value of all the pixel okay and it will actually minus the c parameter from here and this one called the cb2 dot adaptive trash gaussian c it actually calculates the gaussian white sign of the block and minus the c parameter so now the question is what is the block size we already talked about that what is adaptive threshold we know that adaptive threshold is a method where the threshold value is calculated for the smaller region that means our image is actually converted into some region okay if i take the pan here let's take one pan that means this is nothing but our image let's say this or nothing but our image so in basic thresholding we find we actually give here the threshold value let's say 20 so this 20 values apply on the whole image but in adaptive thresholding we can actually resize the images in some block size that means we can divide the image into some smaller region or some block size then we can apply the threshold value on the on this region that's in different regions let's say this is the lighting effect is so cool here the lighting effect so we can change the threshold value one here but in basic thresholding don't actually uh, change the threshold value because this threshold value should be in globally but in adaptive thresholding is not globally you can change any you can change the value from any on any in here okay that's the basic advantage of the using the adaptive thresholding. You can use the threshold value in the different region as a block size. Okay, I think you understand. If you have any problem, if you don't understand, you can message me directly on our Facebook page or you on my Instagram or the Discord server. Okay. Okay, so now we can use the adaptive uh, method here. So let's say cb2 dot adaptive and you can see here gaussian and the mean so let's use the mean one and the block size so remember that use the block size as odd number not even number so let's say five here and the c value you need to put here let's say you can put here 0 to 0 to 0 1 2 3 4 you you can choose here let's choose here let's say three and let's sign into one variable let's call the let's say threshold let's say trash okay and I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it on here. Okay, we can also use one original image for that. Let's say use this one. Original. Let's say this is called the original image. Original. And this one, our original image. And I'm going to paste it on here and run the code here. That's the output. Okay. So this is our original image and you can see here this is our adaptive thresholding image so let's use the basic thresholding on the image and see that so cb2 dot threshold and first one is our source you can see our source and the threshold below so let's say source our image itself and threshold will let's say use uh, let's say 30 and maximum value let's say 255 so let's use the threshold type let's say trash binary this one and the last parameter is nothing but our, uh, we got here let's say threshold source trash value and the max value and the type and the dst okay we don't need to put here as a dst you can run the code here if i go on here and see that don't put here anything else here okay we can also uh, put into one assign to one variable let's say the first one is the rat and the threshold okay because it will return these two value first one is the rat in return is nothing else and the threshold i'm going to actually copy this out and also i'm going to compare between them so this is the basic threshold image so let's say basic threshold image and this one is the threshold let's say paste it on here and save and run the code then you can actually see the output between them 
okay and you can see here this is the basic uh, threshold image and this is the original image and the, this is the adaptive threshold image you can also increase the value here let's say increase the value so 127 and see the output then you can actually see here of uh, what are the disadvantages of using this basic threshold you can see black 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 but in adaptive threshold you can see here this is so cool but some noise here it's actually based on your c parameter when I actually increase the c parameter and also the block size let's say block size is, let's say 11 and let's say this parameter should let's say 5 and you can see the clear output okay you can see clear output but when I actually increase your size of the c that's mean your email should be in a white because when I actually uh, minus the c below all time and your one time your maximum below is coming as 255 then this time your image should be the uh, white you can also use the track bug to actually get the uh, below from here and how the uh, image is actually uh, looks like how in actually change the below of the scene we can you can also use this let's copy this and going to paste it on here and do some changes on here this one and we can remove these lines because we don't we need the just below here so we can copy this Control c Control x here we are going to cut them and I'm going to paste it on here and we can just replace with the C below okay so this below C below let's use the, some different below here and see the uh, output okay let's uh, format it here and destroy the all into our image and done <laughs> okay and let's go here so our work is done i need to run the code here and see the output and you can see this our origin image this one and this one also the origin image actually created and you can see how you change the value of the c and you can see our schedule uh image is more clear but how you actually change the value as 255 and you can see here this is completely white this is i am talking about and also how you can see some uh, sometimes it actually black 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 and you can see it based on the c value you can change the c value and get the output and you can also use this on the basic threshold link and see the output you can also use this here let's say use here let's say below and see the output you can also comment and comment this comment this line here we don't need origin image because this is the origin image here so let's let's use this one and you can see here I actually increase the size you can see here this is not visible but this basic threshold link is actually black here so this is nothing but on based on the c value you can change the c value and actually get the uh, correct output from here okay so now let's so see how can you do that in real time so for that you need to create one video capture of this so i'm going to comment this line because we don't need to actually read the picture here so let's say video equal to cb2 dot video capture okay so this is called a video capture and inside that i need to put to the path here zero because i'm going to use my default webcam on my laptop and i'm going to also comment out these lines here and now i am going to use this video to read the frame so let's say red comma uh, let's say image equal to video dot read okay so we read the video so make sure that how and you read the video and you need to convert this video frame into grayscale mode because how you actually apply the threshold on your frame you need to actually convert this into grayscale you can see here i put here zero zero means as a flag it grayscale so how can we actually convert this frame into grayscale so for that cbt has one method that's called the cb2.cbt color and inside that you need to pass here the source so in our source is nothing but the image and your uh, conversations or conversion code so cb2 dot color bgr because you know open cb read the image into bgr format blue green and red so you need to convert into bgr to gray this one okay so now our frame is converted into gray scale so now we can use this on and use this on threshold and it will give the uh, output okay so if you don't convert in, into gray scale in basic thresholding maybe it's not give you error but in adapted threshold, threshold it actually definitely give you the error okay so now we can actually use this so let's use it here 
so we can use this this is good and now we can also remove this track bug we don't need that okay we can just put here value as a three okay and we can also comment out this line because i'm not going to actually use this track bug here right now because we're going to do it on real time so i think you don't need that and okay done image and after threshold and basic threshold so let's save it and run the code here and see the output that's how the output actually look like and few seconds you can see here it actually opened my webcam and you can see here this is the nothing but the original image this is adaptive uh, threshold image you can see how clean is it look like and this is nothing but the basic threshold image so now you can compare between two images that which one is better okay this one or this one which one is better okay you know this one looks good and this one the better one okay this one okay and you can implement this in real time like this so this is a tutorial hope you enjoyed this tutorial and make sure to subscribe my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for never miss an update and i'll be back in the another tutorial so till then take care and bye bye